What up people, Musa the Geek here today and we're talking about bezel-less smartphone technology and if it is a revolution or just a liberation. Changes in the way we use technology has been changing rapidly in the past few years. From the first time Steve Jobs announced the iPhone. Every once in a while, a revolutionary product comes along that changes everything. Following that era were phones with just a screen and no QWERTY keyboard. We are kind of seeing the same thing with the headphone jack since Apple announced that their iPhones will not have a headphone jack. Most of the companies post that started going for the one port route on their smartphones. And now the new revolution is edge to edge display or bezel-less display or full screen display, whatever you want to call it. Although all the revolutions that have happened in the past did not have a significant impact on features or functionality and were focused more towards aesthetics. A device could be of the same size but have more screen. Now that is exciting because it's not only an immersive experience but also it definitely will look awesome to have a bigger screen and kind of not have any bezels on it, don't you think? So we have rounded up our top five picks of smartphones with bezel-less displays. Now some of these are yet to be launched but we still put it in our list because I think, it, I think they look pretty cool. The iPhone 8, 7S or X, whatever they're going to call it, it is going to be a full screen display with little to no bezels around the corner and it is although we don't know the exact uh, body to screen ratio percentage we know it's going to be the maximum because from the leaks and rumors it really fills up the whole screen even at the uh, top panel now that being said we're still going to be really really excited to find out what the phone has to offer with terms of specs and body to screen ratio as well. Secondly, Xiaomi Mi Mix. Now, although this device was released back in October 2016, it was not released in India officially. And that's kind of sad because Xiaomi has a huge presence in India, but they didn't release the device over here. Although we did manage to get this device imported by eBay, which is, which is good. Um, they're also working on Mi Mix Pro or the second version which is kind of the full screen display as well but we're yet to see if that's going to be launched here. The device actually came with a whopping 91.3 screen to body ratio. I mean that's, that's amazing because it covered the entire top panel of the uh, phone which is kind of exciting because all the technology that is required to do such a thing like you, you're taking away the earpiece and the sensors you know it was kind of ahead of its time that's all I could say for it and when, when it was unboxed in MKBHD's video when I saw it the first, first time over there I was kind of excited because of the way it was cleverly designed moving on to the essential phone which is supposedly gonna have 85% screen to body ratio and it is designed by Andy Rubin, who was the co-founder of Android. If that's not exciting, this device is going to be reasonably priced and also going to have high-end specs. The additional thing also, it's going to have extension mods. I know the extension mods kind of thing did not fly in the past since its last appearance. But we're still excited to see how this device is going to use that technology. And also, it kind of resembles the design of iPhone so it's interesting to see um, you know how this is gonna gonna actually look and feel when it's gonna be released next month I guess we cannot forget what happened with Samsung's Note 7 although when we had a look at Samsung Galaxy S8 and S8 Plus all that came up to my mind was what a comeback I mean the device really looked gorgeous with 84% screen to body ratio and the top of the line specs, a premium looking and feeling device. 
and there were no complaints about that other than it was really pricey but again you're looking at a premium device so it was really immersive and that's what we were expecting and there were top of the line of technologies new implementations and i think that was one of the devices that really excited us as well so that's why it's in this list Lastly, we have the LG G6. Although this is not a completely bezel-less phone, it is a 74% screen-to-body ratio. It's not an all-screen. We still wanted to put it into the list because of the price point and high-end specs that it provides. I think it's about time companies look at this and say, how can we make this look good? And I think that's the route that most of the companies are taking. And I'm really excited for the smartphone revolutions that are yet to come up. That's pretty much it from my side. Thanks for watching. Like this video if you liked it. Subscribe if you have not already. And until the next time, you all take care and be safe. Peace.